Hello, I'm back, Lutra FM, with another fake football shirt review video. Uh, in this video, it's going to be the first of a double header. The next one will be out on um, next Sunday. And basically, I've used this seller before when it comes to buying shirts. I've managed to buy shirts off him before and had no troubles. Very good quality. As you can see, I'm wearing the Ajax uh, Bob Marley tribute shirt. I won't go all the way down because no one wants to see my belly. Um, but it's a really nice shirt. And I got that, and they're very, very well priced. I think it comes up to about eleven quid each or something. And then um, I think I don't know if it, I think postage might be free, but don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. But um, I bought ten shirts off him twice now. The the one there's there's five we reviewed today, and then five on Sunday. And then I've done um, a video before on ten other shirts I got from him. So um, they're not as tight as the ones I got from the other seller I got. So a four XL in the fake shirts fit better than a 4xl from the other website i used but that might be more to do with the fact i might have lost a bit of weight because i am working hard at the moment so they're still tight on me to the point where i don't particularly feel comfortable showing you um these shirts with all the way down to my belly but other than that like i said very good quality can't complain you can see from like the badges are all on properly you've got everything that you need on the on there as well like i said very good detail feels like a football shirt as well um very nice quality cannot complain at all so in this video today like i said we're going to review um five shirts from him and then another five shirts again i will put the facebook group in the description um he doesn't have a website yet but don't be put off by that he is looking at doing that as far as I know, I'm not, um, by the way, I'm not endorsing him or anything like that. I'm not getting paid to do this. He's not giving me any free shirts or anything like that. I always make sure that I do um, fair reviews with people. If they don't do quality stuff, I will let you know because I don't want to waste your money. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, he I, he's very good at communicating. He lets me know when, like two days ago when my shirts turned up, he let me know in the morning. Um tracking information so i knew what time the delivery driver was going to come and like i said i can't complain at all i would I, you know i would recommend him every day um if you want to talk to him direct he posts on that facebook group called um let me just read it out to you um the facebook group is called retro football shirts and then there's an explanation mark and then in brackets it says worldwide so if you want to go on that facebook group there's currently 720 members on there so if that helps you try and find it um there's a lot of people including myself that have done reviews on the shirts that they've bought from him so you know like i said i've had no complaints from him i'm not going to say like 100 percent. there might be the slight issue here and there but at the end of the day I, I i everyone i've seen has bought shirts off him and had no complaints and like he is really good at communicating um, bear in mind, English is not his first language, but he is he is good enough to be able to communicate with you enough. Um, and like I said, very good value, very cheap as well. I mean, this this shirt particularly here, this probably would have cost me like 50, 60 quid, maybe more. Um, I bought it legit, but this only cost me about 11 quid or something like that. Might be might be slightly more. I can't remember the exact price now. I should have looked before I... Uh, before basically but i i buy them 10 shirts at a time if i can um so i think it worked out about like 12 13 quid each or something like that um but yeah postage is basically free i think so don't quote me on that because i might be wrong um but yeah so we'll, well what we'll do now is in a second we'll get cracking with the first shirt that i've bought out of the 10 um the other i'll do five today and then another five for the video next week and then after that i have a hit gg brafs one uh mis um, not mystery shirt sorry a, a hit gg fake shirt review video um i've got four shirts from them i'm waiting for another one to turn up um later on in the week um next week sorry and then i'll do a review video on that in two weeks from this video so bear that in mind in case you want to look at the how good hit gg shirts are so right i'll be back in a sec with the first shirt right so we're back with the first shirt and the first shirt i do i support man united so i do get a lot of man united shirts um because i don't want to pay the glazers any money i do get the home shirt legit authentic one every year that's enough money from for the glazers i don't want to you know i know Ratcliffe's in charge now to a point but 
because until the glazers disappear i'm not gonna but even if they did disappear i can't afford to pay generally i can't afford to pay 50 60 quid each shirt for this it's just ridiculous i mean this one's probably more than that but yeah this is the stone roses tribute man united shirt i'll just do a close-up of the badges and i'm going to stand off and show you the shirt a little bit better i love the the camouflage shirt i always like a good camouflage shirt anyway um but yeah that's the shirt there i want to go back a bit more so that's the shirt there you got the lovely little trim there blue um white red this is stone roses tribute shirt um not a fan of i'm not really i don't don't have anything against stone roses but i don't really listen to any of their music that's a close-up of the badge there um you got the the legit looking hat stone roses as you, there you go this is a nice little touch for itself you want to zoom in the barcode just to see what shirt it actually comes up with um on the inside you've got the lovely little stone roses in gold there as well just a nice touch um but yeah like i said very nice shirt i like the old school i think it's old school adidas sticker it feels like it's um yeah it is sewed on for a second i thought it was a heat heated on but yeah very nice shirt um i'm not going to try it on for you but look that's what it will look like if it was on me um actually no i will try it on i will try it on i think it has a video of one wearing it um so two seconds and i'll put it on right so here's what it looks like on me um as i've said i've lost a bit of weight since the last video i did i'm still fat obviously so it will look a bit tight on my belly but it's not that bad and obviously the camouflage makes it look better um but yeah like i said it's a nice shirt um this you could wear this on a night out i think in the pub um uh, unless there's loads of man city or liverpool fans about but yeah like i said it's a nice shirt nice feels nice the collar's really nice as well as well so yeah it looks really good right then um back in a sec with the next shirt right so here's the next shirt it's that lovely i call it watermelon arsenal adidas shirt uh i tend to try and buy adidas football shirts when the fake ones because they fit me better than um the other brands the cheaper the brand the worse the, the worse it fits on my fat belly so i try and stay with adidas to a point but yeah i think it's really cool I, again i could wear, i would wear this on a night out um you know i wore that bob marley one uh alex shirt yesterday and i had two or three people come up to me and uh say cool t-shirt cool shirt so yeah but um, i'll just do this the badge check we've got the adidas but uh sorry we've got the arsenal that's adidas i keep forgetting it's the opposite of my where my hand is and that's the gunners badge is there anything on the back no nothing on the back um we've got the usual Adidas information there. Got the tags like so. Aero ready apparently. So yeah, nice shirt. Um, my my girlfriend liked this one as well, which I thought was surprising. I thought she'd find this one hideous, but she didn't. So there you go. So that's the real test. If your girlfriend doesn't have a problem with wearing it. So yeah. So in a second, we'll see what this looks like on me. So here it is on me. Um, I don't think I'll be wearing this one out and about. It's too tight on me, annoyingly, um, sadly. So I'll wear it for doing football shirts because you obviously can only see the top bit. Um, football shirts, sorry, videos when I do my videos. Um, but like I said, I don't, I'm not. I'm too self conscious to. I mean, I'm probably just being paranoid, but because it feels so tight. I mean, look, you can see, it's uh, it's not very flattering. Anyway, it's not about me and my insecurities but yeah other than that it's not sure it fits nicely on my shoulders but um i just need to lose more weight but yeah it's a nice shirt it feels nice it feels like a typical adidas football shirt um that is heated on stuffed on so if you don't know already when you buy fake football shirts make sure that you um you put them on a quick wash uh 15 minutes and make sure when you do it before you put them in the shirt, the shirts in the washing machine, 
turn the shirt inside out. Uh, I would do this actually with normal football shirts as well, not just weight shirts. Turn the shirts inside out, put them in a quick wash, and then put them out on the line to dry. Don't do a tumble dry. Whatever you do, don't do a tumble dry. Don't put, and also do not use um, fabric conditioner. Just use the normal powder or the squitty gel. Um, I haven't got mine in view to show you, but you know, the, the, the squidgy gel that you use to wash your shirts, um, your clothes, but do not use fabric softener. Do not put it in a tumble dryer and put it in a quick wash for 15 minutes. So, uh, turn the shirts inside out. And these will, these shirts will last you a lot longer than they would if you don't do that. If you do, if you ignore them, that advice, and you do put in the tumble dryer and stuff like that, uh, uh, this will definitely come off after a few washes. Um, and eventually these will probably come off and especially if you're going to get name and numbers on there. Now, I don't recommend getting name and numbers on the shirt unless you really want to because the chances are the name and number will come off in the wash. But then if you do it the way I've just told you, it should be okay for a lot longer. So they will last you a lot longer doing it that way. I'm hoping that advice helps in some way. But right then, I'll, um, I'll be back in a sec with the next shirt. So from one crazy coloured shirt to another, we've got this lovely canary green as i like to call it um barcelona shirt um i'll just close up on there the, the night pick looks a bit weird to me i don't know if that's meant to be like that but um i assume it is because like i said they would get like loads of people complaining about the quality if that, if that tick was there like that anyway you've got the spotify there you go. the pattern's quite cool from what you can see on here it is a bit bright in this kitchen today so i apologize um that's the pattern from the back. That's easier for you to look at. And then you've got RS inside there. I have no idea. Oh, where am I going? I have no idea what the RS means. Um, you've got the Barcelona colours there. And then you've got the, the tag. So I think this is actually the first, or one of the first, knife shirts I've had. So it'll be interesting to see whether this fits me. Now, if that tick, night tick, is wrong, I shall not be wearing this shirt. This shirt will be going in the bin. Um, so yeah, and I'll be I'll be messaging them to have a word with them. Say you need to correct that. But that doesn't look right to me. Um but yeah, we'll see. Maybe it is, maybe it's a new thing that they're doing with night shirts. So yeah. Anyway, I'll I'll have a quick look online and I'll be back in a sec with this shirt on and we'll 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 know one way or another. Right, I did do some checks, and that is actually correct. That that tick, where is it? That tick is meant to be like that. Um, I got paranoid then for a minute, thinking, "Oh God, they've given me a bad shirt here." But no, that's meant to be. Where is it? Why do I keep? There you go. I keep getting the fingers wrong. Um, but yeah, that's meant to be that like that. I don't like it like that. It looks like a hockey stick to me. Um, true story. So when I was about eleven years old, I thought I was the coolest guy ever. Because I went to the went this is when I had hair, and I got the the barbers to do a night tick, um in the back of my head, and I thought I looked so cool. And then all the kids just said it looked like a hockey stick, and because of the way that the, the barber did it, so I was disappointed. But yeah, that's what it reminds me of trauma from when I was a kid. There you go. But anyway, other than that, it's a bit, it's a bit snug on me. Again, it as you can see, not flattering at all. Um, but. I don't, I don't complain too much because there are people way worse off than me in the world, um, and I can eventually. I'm aiming to lose more weight. I'm, I'm doing everything that I'm meant to do. Um, my diet's not the best, but you know, I'm exercising every day. I'm walking ten pounds a step a day, sometimes more. I'm going to the gym three times a week, doing weight work, and most days I limit myself to a certain amount of calories and a certain amount of sugary snacks because I have a sweet tooth. So sometimes I'll have a crazy day, um, but I always keep myself in check. I weigh myself nearly every day, which I know is probably not healthy either, but it makes it makes sure that I'm not going over. So I try and stay at a certain weight, and I'm trying to lose a bit of weight now as well. So I'll get there. Anyway, like I said, it's a nice... I like the colour. I really like the colour. I like the shirt. I just wish it was bigger. If I got this, like the legit shirt, it probably would have fit me better as a 4XL. Um, so maybe I might buy the legit shirt one day, just to see. Um, if I had the money, I would just uh, buy the legit shirt and then buy this shirt um, and then compare the two so people can see. But I haven't got the money to buy a legit shirt, sorry. If you want to 
donate some money to me so I can buy the legit shirt at that point. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but yeah, like, other than that, it, it's pretty nice. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see I'll go over here. Um, you might be able to see it on here. But yeah, have a look on Google it and you'll see the back of it as well. But yeah, right then, I'll be back in a sec with the next shirt. Right, so the next shirt is an Ajax shirt and I really like this shirt and I really, really hope this shirt fits me nicely because I'm going to be really gutted if I can't wear this shirt out and about because look at this, this is such a beautiful pattern, look at the pattern on there, such a beautiful pattern. Ajax always do really good shirts, um, close up with the badges, put the tags out of the way, but yeah, close up with the badges there, we've got the Adidas there, and we've got the shirt sponsor there. And then on the back, you've got three X's, plastic cover over it, so yeah, got rid of it. So yeah, three X's there. Inside, you've got the usual Adidas 4XL. Uh, and then you've got the tags here as well. There you go. So, uh, like so. But yeah, this, I really like this shirt. Um, I like, like I said, all the IX shirts that I've got. But then again, I've only got two, but I really like them, so I might start collecting more Ajax shirts. Uh, not, not the home ones, because the home ones usually look the same, but like when they do like the set the way or the third one, if I can get one from a fake website, I probably will, but yeah, that looks really nice. And it feels like a different material to the other shirts, it feels softer, so I'm hoping it fits me, but in a second, we'll soon find out. So yeah, it does fit me. It does fit me nicely. It's not. It's it's a little. It's not tight. There's a little bit. Of, there's a little bit of leeway here. So this is probably the most comfortable one I've had out of the shirt so far today. Um, but yeah, like I said, it fits me nicely. Um, not too bad on the belly. Obviously, it's still on show, but you know, it is what it is. I've come to terms. I think when I did one, when I've done these videos before, I've been a bit, a little bit negative on myself because of it. Um, and I've accepted that. Most football shirts, legit or fake, are going to start removing the chair. I'm not going to fit me as nicely as I would like to lose the weight. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, it's a nice shirt. I like the stripe seal on the, on the side there. Um, I don't know if they're glow in the dark ones, I don't know. But yeah, I just, I just love the pattern. I just, I just think it's such a cool pattern. I, I, don't, I go for the most weird looking football shirts ever. That's what I like about football shirts. They're just weird and wonderful. I don't like a boring one. But yeah, like that. Right. Uh, I'll be back in a sec with the last shirt of this video. Right. So this one is Nottingham Forest. Uh, Adidas one. I got this because it just because it was camo and I've got a cap, um, a Carhartt cap, but same colour. So I thought, oh, this will go nicely with that cap um, when I go out to the gym and stuff like that. Uh, I do like Nottingham Forest as a team as well. Not Notts Forest, don't ever call them Notts Forest. Notts Forest fans get really angry about that. Um, but yeah, this is a, you know, Adidas logos there, Nottingham Forest badge, and then you got the Eon. Pattern's really cool, nice little camo pattern. Same on the back as well, like so. But like I said, these shirts are really good. You would not think these were a fake shirt. I'm, the problem lately at the moment is a lot of people are getting, um, fake shirts even though they're buying them as authentic shirts whether it's on ebay or also i've noticed as well um some people that i watch on youtube they're buying football shirts they, they think they're getting these brilliant football shirts from charity shops for instance and i'm like you you know there was there was a guy that i watched called retro jamie uh really nice bloke so i'm not having a go at him but i mean it might be legit as well so i might be wrong but he got he managed to get a 1993 or night no 1992 1993 home man united shirt or something like that or it might be 93 94 i think it's 93 94 and it looks like brand new so that always that always sends alarm bells in my head because you know it's a shirt that's over nearly 30 years old i mean even if you just put it away and never wore it it still would probably have some some difference to it then then it just looked perfect in every way and i thought he's either been really really lucky which he can be at times because he is pretty good at that or he's been had there so i did message him and just say look get it checked but he's only bought he bought it for himself so he said anyway he said even if it's fake he's not bothered but you know a lot of people buy these football shirts to then sell on for money and then the people that buy them realize they're fake and then it just makes them the people that are sold them make them look bad so just always check 
if you're buying football shirts to sell on for money make sure you do your check first but, um yeah like i said nice shirt feels like it feels very similar to the ix shirt so um a nine out of ten adidas shirts i get usually fit me perfectly um the man united one i've got the authentic blue and white man united one i got from i think it was 2021 season um fits me beautifully i got a leeds one recently fits me beautifully i think that's adidas as well so yeah so anyway right we'll see what this looks like on me in a few seconds this is not the day to be doing this by the way it's roasting today and i'm having to keep putting taking shirts off putting them on oh right um yeah fits me all right fits me it's a little bit tighter than the art shirt but it's still all right i can wear this walk around in this and it's, it, it is what it is um yeah it's a nice shirt i like it i like the camo like i said i've got a, a gold like a brand like a tan brown gold type of ha -ha hat and i can put it on without the mask obviously um and it'll look very nice i could probably even wear i could wear like i've got some red adidas, red adidas tracksuit bottoms they're a bit too big on me my mom got me free excel thinking i was still a free excel and my mom wants a excel now so they fit me too i have to keep pulling them up but i can wear the red adidas tracksuit bottoms on i've got some red i've got red adidas uh trainers red adidas, red adidas trainers sorry and then i can wear this and not the mask obviously and then the the, the cap and i think i'll actually look pretty all right i think I'll, at least i'll be color coordinate which is not very often with me i tend to wear different colors all the time but yeah like i said i'll do a close-up with the badges so you can see them again um yeah but this is the last shirt of the video there will be another video next sunday um where i do the other five shirts from this website and then the week after that i've got four or five shirts depending on if the other one turns up in time um i've got four four shirts from Hit GG, which people want to know about, and so I'm giving them a try. I'm going to try them on as well. So we'll uh, see how it goes. But thank you for watching. If you watch to the end, sorry if I sometimes ramble on. That's just me. I hope you've enjoyed it anyway, uh, and I hope it's given you a better uh, opinion if you wanted to buy from this particular person, or you just wanted to see how good like, football shirts are at the moment. Because there's there's other people out there selling, obviously, um, and they're all. I mean, I've got like four or five sellers now that i trust that i've bought shirts from so i can go to them if i want a different shirt um and stuff like that which is really cool and it's saving me so much money because before this i would never be able to afford to buy these and now i can buy the shirts that i've always wanted to buy and it's a fraction of the price it would cost me so i'm not complaining too much even if these don't last me say longer than say let's say six months this starts deteriorating i'll just chuck it away it cost me 10 it cost me like 13 14 quid I can't complain. So yeah. Right, I'll be back next Sunday with another one of these videos. Um if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and have a nice rest of your Sunday. All the best. Bye.